open the assets folder, click on Starbucks logo and drag it and drop it onto the Photoshop icon. That's an easy way to open up an image in Photoshop. And that's a pro tip. Let's add more canvas area to the top and bottom. Click on the crop. Let's drag the crop up and drag the crop down. Press return. Let's make a new layer. And we're gonna fill that new layer with white. Edit, fill, content, white, okay. Drag that layer to the bottom. Click on layer one and get the type tool. In the options bar, click on the center text. Click right here in the middle of the design and we'll write brew at home period. The text looks a little wonky to me. I'm gonna fix that. Command T to transform it. I'm gonna press the shift and bring the text up so the text looks normal to me and press return. Get the move tool and move the text in the middle. You'll see purple guidelines and I'll bring it down a little bit towards the logo, but give it a little space in between. Do a command J to duplicate that layer. See, now we duplicated that layer here with command J. With the move tool, drag it down and then press the shift button to constrain the proportions to go straight down. And that's a pro tip. And then let go. Double click on the text and that will select the text. That's another pro tip. And we're gonna write Starbucks is, press return and write convenient with a period. Now you'll notice that the two lines are like right on top of each other. That's what's called letting, putting space between lines. And we can fix that. Let's get the move tool and then click on the type tool again. In the options bar, click on the little square icon and that brings up the characters panel. The font is right now 35 points. This option here is for letting. So if we write 35 in there and then press return, and there we go. We have space between the lines now, and that's called letting. Remember that term because you're gonna be using it often as a graphic designer. All right, I spelled Starbucks wrong, so I wanna select it and spell it right. Make sure everything that you write in an ad or any graphic design that you do is spelled correctly. If you need to write it in Word document and then copy and paste it into the ad, do it. And let's save this. File, export, save for web. We'll click on JPEG and press save. We'll save it in the 4.2 asset folder, Starbucks underscore logo underscore slogan dot JPEG. Click save. We'll continue this lesson in the next video.